WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials finished down 131. NASDAQ down 76. Down 70, rather. Uh, S&P's down 18. Percentage-wise out here was the NASDAQ that uh, took the hit down 9 tenths of 1%. Well, actually, the, the Russell was a down a lot more than that. Russell came down with volume um, as well as price. If you take a look at the IWM, you're going to see this is uh, down 3 bucks, trading 153, 28 million shares traded. You bring this back, the IWM in six hours just got you back to the 12th of February. What it also did, folks, is that it got you back in the lower range, okay? It gave it up all three highs, the high of October 16th, the high of November 8th, as well as the high of December 3rd. Now, bottom line, what's game here is going to be uh, December 26th. That's the, that's the number, and that is a very large number down there, by the way. And most times, you don't see just the uh, small cap or just one indice turn. I expect what you're going to see is that you'll S&P's, the NASDAQ composite, NDX 100, you'll see those uh, babies uh, also gets, gather some steam. We did take a look at the S&P, uh, the SPY, you're going to see you did expand on volume. Yesterday, trying to get, well, sideways to slightly, well, sideways at 59 million. Today, 68. You're going into the low of Monday, which had 106. So the way this is set up is that it stopped before it. The low is 276.84. We hit 276.97. Now, this is really dangerous for the bulls. You know, you have, depending on how long you've been listening, you've heard it many times. When you stop right before either a high or low and the market gets a chance to rest, big problem. In this particular case, gets more energy up. It's gonna, the market's going to watch Asia trade all night. The market's going to watch Europe in the morning. And guess what? It's going to wake up with a little pep. And I expect you're going to go right after that low. And if you take that low out, which is the 276.84, you're going to be down at 273 in about a heartbeat because there's not much in between that. Because uh, what, what that also is saying is that, uh, bottom line, then the S&P is also going to be in the lower range. Notes and bonds, they're still saying market wants out. Yeah, the 10-year note up 11 ticks. 30-year up 19 ticks. We did have King Dollar fail. It's the first time we get a failure in King Dollar in quite some time. Got over the highs of yesterday, closed underneath it. King Dollar now going to go downtown. We'll see if we get any sellers on the way down. Dow Industrials closed down 133. NASDAQ up 70. S&P's up 18. Coming back with some numbers, folks. Stay right there.